do you think at this point that she is still alive? I really don't know. Hopefully, yes. Depending on how bad or what's going on with her. I mean, we hope, there's always hope. Hello and welcome to True Crime Rocket Science, the most authentic voice in true crime. Things aren't looking good for five-year-old Summer Wells. At this point, every hour and every day that passes, the likelihood increases that she's no longer alive. When Donald Wells made his statement to the media, it was difficult to get a read on him. It was difficult to see his eyes because he was squinting into the sun. We also had very little to go on in terms of his wife although we do seem to have access to her Facebook. But something that was obvious at the time was that Donald seemed pretty red-faced and emotionless. Heavy drinkers often have a flushed face from regular intoxication. The scientific term for it is telangiectasia. So if your face turns red after a couple of glasses of wine, um, that is a normal facial flushing when someone drinks alcohol. Um, the technical term for this is alcohol flush reaction. That's not what we're talking about here. Um, it's got something to do with um, difficulty digesting alcohol in that particular case. When we talk about this facial redness, it's a symptom of alcohol abuse. And you actually have a persistently red face. It's not just um, one or two days. It's persistently red. And it's due to... Um, blood vessels that actually start enlarging and this word telangiectasia um, is another word for spider um, the rupturing of these some of these vessels um, has the appearance of spiders on the cheeks and so on and when enough of them rupture you have this overall sort of um, appearance of blushing and it is um, so it is associated with sustained alcohol intake and um, alcoholism. So is there alcoholism in the Wells family? I'm going to get to that in a moment. Um, but of course, this appearance of it on the cheeks suggests that there's something going on there. The other thing that I think is unfortunately worth highlighting is Summer is the only little girl in the Wells family, and she's also the youngest. What does this mean in the context of potentially an angry alcoholic. What is quite interesting in the um, appearance that Donald Wells gave to the media is looking at his son. Throughout the whole time that he was on camera, the boy looked down. Um, he, he appeared cowed, silent, scared. And so I think one potential area for law enforcement to look at are the other children, get a version of events from them, if at all possible. Find out what is going on behind, um, behind the scenes, what was going on in the family dynamics from the children. As many of you are aware, there's also the disappearance of 22-year-old Rosemary Bly, who was Summer um, Wells' aunt and Candace's sister. And that was in 2009. And it's possible that she simply um, went to a truck stop, perhaps she was unhappily married, w went to a truck stop, got on to, got a ride with a trucker and, you know, rode off into the sunset. I don't believe that's the case, though. Um, it's still uh, officially an unsolved disappearance, Rosemary Bly, and... If that is the case, then one's got to wonder whether if someone was involved in Rosemary Bly's disappearance and got away with it 12 years ago, um, has that same person not struck again here? In my opinion, and, you know, I've sort of felt like one's got to be a little bit careful when it's very early on and you don't know who these individuals are and you don't want to rush to judgment and you don't want to, um, you know, appearances aren't necessarily going to tell you something. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But I found that Wells's words and his overall statement wasn't particularly credible. And the statement that I played, just a little clip I played right in the beginning, 
when he talks about um, you know finding her, he shakes his head. I'll put a link to that particular clip in the description so you can watch it yourself. Um, but as I say, someone not appearing all that credible doesn't necessarily mean foul play. Perhaps Summer did run away. But if she ran away, why is her father already blaming an abductor and a bad person? Once again, there's absolutely no evidence of that. No witnesses, no footprints, no um, screams, nothing like that. So, so where does this abductor come from? And of, often when you want to blame an abductor when there's no evidence, it's to direct attention away from someone else that, that may be known, right? So we, we've again got to ask what exactly happened to Candace's sister? You know, it was 12 years ago and she's been gone for, for 12 years, almost as long as Madeleine McCann, right? And, you know, in the Madeleine McCann case, they will say there's no evidence that Madeleine has come to harm, but there's also no evidence that Madeleine has, is alive for the past 12, what, 14 years. And so the same applies with Summer Wells. Every hour that she remains absent and silent isn't a good sign, isn't a, a positive sign. Every um, hour that becomes a day that she remains missing isn't um, sort of evidence that nothing has happened to her. It's a growing sense that something probably has happened that, that's not good, as we saw with Suzanne Morphew and the, uh, you know, Laurie, in the Laurie Vallo case with um, uh, Tylee and JJ. So often when, you, when someone just disappears and, and you don't hear from them, it's not a good sign and it often doesn't end happily ever after. Now, to come back to um, that, that red face, that, that sort of red appearance on Donald's cheeks. Okay, and once again, the pronunciation is telangiectasia. It's an abnormal dilation of red, blue, or purple superficial capillaries. And um, we are assuming that this may have something to do with alcohol um, abuse. And so it turns out that about a year ago, um, Wells was arrested during a felony stop in the driveway. Officers apparently noticed a strong odor of alcohol on Wells and said he was stumbling when picked up off the ground. And although that is a single incident, the question is, were there more incidents? And is there something that was quite a serious problem going on in this family behind the scenes in terms of alcohol? So the TCRS assessment at this point is that law enforcement ought to concentrate on Donald his wife may be in may be in a better position to uh, provide information on Donald, um, or possibly even the boys. Possibly not. Possibly they will, you know, stand up for their father, no matter what. But possibly not. Who knows? If there's something to say, if there's some information about what has been going on behind the scenes with this family, maybe someone in the family can tell us assuming that there is something. A question I had from the start was whether Donald had an alibi. Can his work colleagues vouch for his whereabouts? Something like that is very quick to determine. You either determine someone's got an alibi or not. But the problem in this case is um, time. We, we don't know exactly what time um, something happened to summer. And so that really needs to be established. What time did something happen to summer? And at, what, at, at that time, where were certain family members? I think the fact that his wife called 911 is possibly significant. And did Donald really ask her to call the cops? Did Donald really? Because often in a situation like this, you have a sense that please don't call the cops. Like from Chris Watts, uh, I don't think Barry Morphy was terribly thrilled when the police arrived either. Um, it's often um, not the, the suspect at the center of something that calls the cops, it's usually someone else. So I think that is possibly significant. This is a uh, unfortunate story and it's, uh, I'm sad to say, not looking like it's going to have a happy ending. 
In any event, we'll be looking out for breaking news on this story. So if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do. Like, share, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.